Malaria eradication will be incredibly difficult. During the last two decades, we've made a lot of progress reducing the burden of malaria. We've had more resources, we've had new interventions that we've scaled up, and we've had political commitment. But the COVID pandemic has interfered with our progress, and we're seeing resistance to our current drugs and the insecticides we use on bed nets. Right now, we have uh, four main tools that we use against malaria. We have rapid diagnostic tests, we have treatment drugs, and then we have the bed nets. And finally, there's insecticide spraying your house so that mosquitoes can't live there. In the future, we have some even better tools coming. We're looking at vaccines that would have long duration. We're looking at a new way of killing mosquitoes, which is an attractive targeted sugar bait trap Further out in the future, we'll actually have gene drive, which changes the genetics of the mosquitoes and either reduces their population or reduces how long they live. That could have dramatic benefits. We have great tools today that we need to keep evolving and some very exciting ones in the pipeline because those will be key to achieve our ultimate goal of eradication.